Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good day. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share my students' perspectives, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. In our previous meeting, we talked about the USA, and I have explained in brief about the country from many relevant and valid sources. So this time, I'm going to share with you my students' thoughts, opinions, and ideas about the United States of America. Please remember that the students have never traveled to the U.S., but they have high interest toward the U.S., and some of them want to travel to the country simply because the U.S. is an interesting country to be visited. And, of course, I graduated from one of the public universities in the U.S., so my students feel more attracted to see the U.S. because of that. I hope that you could listen the voice of this 55 students consisting of female students and male students in my classroom. If you have any question or feedback or anything you would like to state, please write down in the comment section below. And I'm happy to share and I'm happy to answer all of your questions regarding the student's voice. At last, this video has in, been intended to share the students' voices about the country. I hope that it is useful for everyone in this YouTube channel. And have a good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Before we proceed further to watch the student's voice, please subscribe in this YouTube channel. Silahkan di subscribe dan kita berdiskusi secara intelektual in this YouTube channel. Mr. Seth's Corner, Sparkling Silent Silhouette, and Intuitive, Emotive, and Reflective. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, I'm Melisha Fitri from TBIA and I will answer question from Mr. Sayed was question or as students coming from Islamic background and you you have never traveled to the USA what do you have in mind about the USA? Even talk, I haven't had the opportunity to go to the USA besides learning cross-culture understanding. And I also often find out about the USA either from articles or blogs related to USA and what I know about USA is that there are two museums that are considered the, the most visited in America, namely the Smithsonian National the Air and Space Museum in Washington, which is a museum that displays objects related to aviation and space the large in the world and in the museum also displays the Reich flyer and the common module from Apollo and on the moon for the first time and the person controlling the plan was Neil Armstrong the first the first man to land on the moon the Scan Museum in New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. This museum has more than 2 million work by some of the world's most famous artists such as Monet, Reb Monet Rembrandt, Renier, Van Gogh, Picasso, and many more. 
museum had around 7 million visitors. Wow, it's so very great. And you know that of the most visited museum in the world and ranks 3 second place in the National Museum of China in Beijing, while number one is the Lovers in Paris. Archives at the Library of Congress. This library in America is, is located in Washington, and it is the large library in the world. This library has more than uh, as the very million and have uh, the photography, recording, maps, graphic, and many other things of historical importance and value. This library is the official research library in USA and is the United States Copyright Office. The library has been archiving tweets or posts and mention a record of knowledge and creativity for Congress and America and is the very interesting for me and I have target go to America and security and order on of the interesting thing in the United States is that the police and emergency hotlines are absolutely reliable for any problem that occurs from as simple as minor accidents accidents at other major accidents and uh, in addition social order such as garbage disposal question to traffic order is very well maintained mm, it's very good i like it mm, one more thing if you take the elevator or open the door, surely the person who want to get out take precedent tense. So there is no fighting over or basing. And that guy here, if the problem is getting out of the escalator or the door, must the woman or children would take predescend it. Certainly, and if we open the door, when we see someone behind you is also coming in, we will definitely open the door for them too. And the person behind you can hold the door too. <clears throat> and it is. Our public is free for smoking our public place are non-smoking areas is very good and everyone complies unlike in indonesia you will not find a specific place to smoke in america if you want to smoke you have to leave the building and make uh, distancing of the building and if you violate it and will be penalized Moreover, it is one way the American public shows its concern for the heal of the people and its community. That's all for me. I'm so sorry about my mistake and happily it's useful. And thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Monica Khalifah My register number is 18140500054 I'm CBIB Okay, I will answer the question about what I think of the United States as an Indonesian Muslim student My answer is I think Muslims in the USA are minority the arrival of Muslim in the USA focuses more on the arrival of immigrants who come from the Middle East. And almost half of Muslim USA citizens 
experience discrimination as I know the people of the USA are not familiar with the Islamic community as they are used to Christianity, Catholicism, or Judaism which have been in the USA for much longer and have high visibility in that country. United States to Muslims and also in the USA it is difficult to find halal food because in the country the majority of Christians, Catholics are or Jews and others. The wars also to the September 11 tragedy, some Americans felt the Muslims were terrorists and because of the trauma and tragedy, they felt hatred and also want to kill Muslims in their country. And conflict also occurred in the United States in terms of education. America is a great place of education because America has advanced teaching technology, English in the main language spoken in the United States, so students who want to improve their English language skills can attend this school in America. However, in terms of school dating, Americans are very open because schools in America have the freedom to dress. And of course, a Muslim who wants to go to school, they must cover his genitals and not follow the American style of dress. America is a developed country because of its fine human and natural resources. The people there are have high education and high discipline. They are disciplined in almost all aspects, such as time discipline, discipline at work, and so on. If you come to school late, there is no tolerance for admission. Students in America will start to get to know specific subjects about religion at college or university. And in public schools are not taught religious learning. Religion in America is more diverse because it also recognizes other religions such as atheist, Quakers, Christian Judaism. Even though it, it is a country that adheres to liberalism, a large proportion of the population of the United States con considers that religion plays an important role in their daily lives. The United States is a secular country, so the government does not really recognize a particular religion as an official religion. Even though it is classified as a secular state, the United States government guarantees freedom of religion of for very every citizen, the legal basis for religious freedom in the United States is set out in the first amendment to the United States Constitution. Families in America often find it difficult to choose a school for their children's education. One of the most basic considerations is that religious education, including Islam, is not included in the school curriculum. In fact, they want the children to learn to read the Quran and be able to apply Islamic teachings. Therefore, many Muslim families in America choose their children to go home to school, and with that children can learn religion at home. And then, the people of the United States also admire that they don't have a special hereditary culture, but consider, consider that their culture in, is a culture to try to be able best. Since they are not caste, religion, and cultural factors that stand in the way of this, people in that country believe that someone who tries to be the best will be the best. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I'm Bunga Prasari Putri, my register number is 1H1405007. Okay, this is session. I will answer the question about um, what I think of the United States is that uh, Indonesian Muslim students. Okay, the first, the United States address to liberalism and heavily appreciate the ideology of each other. Technology in the United States is developing so rapidly. Broadly speaking, the United States is a very influential country in the world. <coughs> As its currency is a financial benchmark for the world, America is also one of the modern countries that develop rapidly giving birth to great people like Mark uh, Zuckerberg the creator of Facebook and Bill Gates uh, one of my idols who is the creator is uh, Microsoft um, <coughs> Americans really feel time together with their family so if they're so if there is a day of day uh, so if there is a, a day of so if there is a day off uh, they will not waste that opportunity and prefer a vacation spending time with family america is also one of the countries the must be visited by travelers <coughs> when the place I want to visit it in the United States is on Embassy Row, Massachusetts Avenue, Washington, Dakota. There is the Islamic Center of Washington. The destination is the building of a mosque and the center of Islamic culture in the United States. The year of construction refers to the number 19. Five seven, apparently it is quite old too. This building stands on initiative uh, and contribution of Muslim uh, countries in the world, such as Egypt and Turkey. The Islamic of Center of Washington is able to accommodate uh, six thousand. When visit uh, when visiting is not limited. A traveling uh, a traveler can visit at any time to study Islam learn to read the Quran learn Arabic or get to know uh, the life of Muslim in the Uncle Sam's country uh, Islam is one of the religions that exist in America and is included in the minority however uh, however, <coughs> however, uh, the development of Muslim in the United States is happening so fast nowadays. According to expert, Islam will become the religion of the future in the United States. This is because America is a country that is open to immigrants. In addition, according to Imam Joban. Many Americans uh, have decided to convert Islam, convert to Islam, because the behavior of Muslims that they judge is in accordance with religions others. <coughs> uh, based, based on the explanation of Mr. Said and reading and reading articles on the experience of people who have life in America uh, the United States have a fairly high toler toler tolerance of Muslim for for example there is holiday for major Muslim celebration such as Idul Fitri and Idul Adha and changing a church into a mosque for Muslim uh, in Syracuse, New York, United States. Although 
Islam is a minority. Islam is very influential in the United States and and the people of the United States care deeply about minorities and value tolerance for difference. Okay, uh, that's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rizky Saputra. My register number. 1814050024 from TBIA. Okay, oh, in this video, I want to explain my opinion about United States America. Okay, oh, as we all know, that America is a superpower country, economy very prosperous, oh, and strong military makes the country or oh, states America which is respected by others by ma by many countries in the world and compared with oh, our country Indonesia cultures oh, they are very different they are free living and brand style and style of appearance they are also very different from Indonesia. I think uh, they don't look polite even though it's their culture. Uh, behind uh, that there are many experts or, or people smart makes the country even more powerful. Uh, in the fields of technology, America is far ahead of Indonesia. Their technology is very sophisticated effects on the American economy. It can even help uh, their military performance. America is famous for many things, but uh, sport, music, and arts play a role important in the culture there. The most popular sports in America is free is is American football, baseball, basketball and ice hockey. Apart from a music art to play a large part in American culture, you can find a variety kind of art. So that we can see the very legendary musicians from America famous the one's oh, name is Michael Jackson and I like oh, his style and many others. But behind that, I think there are many things that oh, do not match my thoughts as oh, addressing differences in a, in a less tolerant America. Good, in, good intolerance in terms of skin colors religions or status for example in america there is uh, often uh, discriminations to people who are black by people who are white uh, they often are get bad treatment often alienated so that's a oh, case often occurs criminals case oh, caused by discriminations against black in addition they are also very sensitive to muslim religions especially in the era of the president donald trump oh, islam is not very free their oh, sign of their very intolerant spirit law discrimination against muslim is common there or oh, even they have the heart to kill the muslims and many cases we can find there oh but oh, they but they are many of oh, them not respects the muslims they seems to distort to this to distort the fact that the that said the Muslim is a terrorist but in the facts it's the Muslim who are often 
misses or miscarried by non-Muslim. Next, it's the questions. It's the questions of the cure that is solved in ordinary shops for people, adults, or in America. Drinking alcohol but not getting drunk is something or which is common in the social events. Certain foods are also widely used alcohol drinks to test or add uh, to the aroma of a food. But for uh, but for some people who may be lonely and have problems, alcohol uh, before it be a cure for the restlessness of their hearts and minds, which can then results addictions drinks addiction which of course can lead to physical lines as well as mentally i'll talk this is uh, their habits but i think oh this is not a good thing because it can be destructive but unfortunately it's not just in america Now in Indonesia, it's also often found a case like this, and I hope the students Islamics of Indonesia can be with and can the filters, the cultures of the Western, so we can live and many and many cultures. And many cultures is uh, that can disturbs can disturbs our life or breaks out break our lives. Okay, uh, thanks for thanks for uh, watch my video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Widya Ayu Felani. My register number is 23 and I'm from English Department B. Now I want to answer the question from my lecturer. The question is what I think about the USA as a Muslim student. Well, as a Muslim student from Indonesia, in my opinion, uh, the USA is the one of country um, use the ideology of liberal. It means they have a freedom to do what they want, like they have freedom to choose their religion, they have a freedom to choose their lifestyle and include their sexual. And then um, there are several religion in the USA, and the large religion in the USA is Christians about seventy uh, percent. But the Muslim also there, and the Muslim right cannot be gained generally, like playing as an uh, harder like in our country. But in the other hand, there have a several positive vibe or positive side from U from the USA, like um, in the USA. Uh, there has a several universities, um, good universities with high rate, like um, Harvard, Stanford, and Princeton. And it's not only about the the place uh, from the universities, but also there has uh, several people who have graduates from that universities and they get success like Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg and Barack Obama and so there was so many students from from another country want to continue the study in the USA and next um, in the USA uh, they There has a uh, five five seasons. Uh, first um, summer, winter, and autumn, spring.
spring and rainy and uh, and the season in the USA is the one reason the one of reasons I want to live there because in Indonesia has two seasons summer and rainy so maybe someday I want to visit the USA to know about the season and to feel uh, and then in the USA it's not only about the seasons and the university with high rate but also the beautiful view there uh, like um, the Golden Gate Bridge and then um, the Liberty uh, the Stage of Liberty and then um, the most uh, famous thing in the USA is Walt Disney and I really appreciate uh, about Walt Disney because there have so many movies from Walt Disney was filled my day since I was children and then uh, did you know what there have uh, a misunderstanding uh, of some people in my country about the USA the thing in the USA um, the Muslim can do their activity like uh, they live in my country Indonesia but they are wrong in the USA uh, we also can wear our hijab and we can do pray and then maybe they they heard from the televisions and in the television reported that there was a several people in the USA uh, said or think that the Muslim is terrorist yes it's right but not all the people in the USA think that the Muslim is terrorism um, they also respect Muslim who live there and they they are open-minded and they want to get discuss with us as a Muslim so we can judge uh, the country from their lifestyle or just uh, from their bad habit so uh, when we want to know about the country and the culture in it we should uh, visit that country first or we read some of book about that country so that's all from me uh, about the USA and and I'm sorry about my mistake about the grammar and the knowledge uh, so thank you very much for my lecturer for giving me the chance to speak up about the USA Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi okay uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Siti Nur Fadila and I'm from TBIB. My ID number is 1814050008. Uh, what I think of the United States uh, as uh, an Indonesian Muslim student uh, is a country that has so many facilities for education here. Um, even told I'm a Muslim and but but i really want to study there even though even though uh, it is not a mis muslim country then the united states um in my opinion uh, is the country uh, that is most exemplary in terms of education politics or perhaps for the management of their country that is most exemplary in terms of education politics or perhaps 
for the management of their country so that we can take a number uh, of things um, that we can apply in the country in Indonesia uh, then their attitude at work country so that we can take a number uh, of things um, that we can apply in the country in Indonesia uh, then their attitude at work also deserves thumbs up I really want to be disciplined in everything like the people there do and also what is interesting is that there are already various campuses in the United States that offer Islamic studies uh, classes and a growing number of students are interested in taking them one of them is an is in Northern Virginia Community College, a campus on the outskirts of Washington, Washington DC, which is includes Islamic studies in at least three courses on religion. I, I once read an article about their view that touch uh, our hearts is their view of Indonesia which according to one participant is a signing example of an Islamic community worldwide states that Islam is the same everywhere uh, from Arabia to America however Muslim in Indonesia have unique role and tradition so um, what Muslims do in Indonesia uh, is monitor, monitored uh, by Muslims worldwide and is used as measure as well as a mirror for conscience of Muslim everywhere uh, include United, United States and that's all for me so my opinion uh, United States is uh, one of my favorite country and I want to go there so that is my dreams I hope uh, I will come to United States in the future to study there in my opinion is a good opportunity for Muslim students to also seek education there so that's what I think of the United States uh, as an Indonesian Muslim students thank you so much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Irma Indriani. My register number is 18140500025. Well, today I'm gonna tell you uh, about my point of view. Uh, it's about United States of America. Before I talk about America, I will touch about a little of Indonesia first. Uh, well. As a Muslim student of Indonesia, I really appreciate all differences, be it religion, ethnicity, culture, even tradition, because Indonesia is a country which is full of diversity. Indonesia consists of many tribes that uh, each province has its own differences, even religion, we respect each other. Well. United States of America is a federal constitutional republic. It is consists of 50 states and a federal district. Likewise with America. America is one of the most multi-ethnic and multicultural countries in the world. The United States Kansas officially recognizes six uh, racist categories of uh, white Americans, um, black or African Americans, American Indians, 
um, Alaskan natives, Asian Americans, um, native Hawaiians, and people of two or more races. To be honest, I'm so interested with America because there are many amazing places or destinations to visit by people, uh, such as the Golden uh, Gate Bridge, Times Square in New York, the busiest uh, city of the America, Liberty Statue, Disneyland, and many others. These are beautiful places of America. So it's really interesting things of America. Then another interesting thing of America is about holidays. In America, there are three types of holidays, including federal uh, holidays such as New Year's, Christmas Day, and on these holidays, the worker as the workers are still given the right of uh, to be paid. And the second one is uh, commonly celebrated holidays like uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day. And the second one is a uh, culture, ethnic and religion holidays. It is uh, something like Ramadan for Muslim, a uh, day of Vesak for Bud Buddhists and so on. Uh, and I think it's really interesting. Then about the time. There are five times in the United States of America. It's really different from Indonesia, which has just three times of Indonesia. And uniquely, there is a time acceleration and deceleration in America, uh, which um, the Americans called it by a spring forward and fall back. Then, United States of America is known for its innovative universities. America has many dream campuses for every student all over the world, including Massachusetts Institute of Technology of, or MIT, Stanford University, Harvard University, and California Institute of Technology, and many more, uh, many more universities uh, that uh, to be students of one the United States University is dream for mostly students from all over the world. Regarding the system of United States of America is really interesting too, uh, because in presidential election they are not determined by the people directly, however by the electoral college. It's contrast to. Uh, Indonesia go government. In Indonesia, the president is directly elected by the people. As we just saw several days ago, the 2020 American election was won by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Then a large proportion of population of the United States of America believe that religion plays an important role in their daily lives. I'm from Islamic religion. I'm a Muslim. It doesn't make me hate America because every religion has goodness in it. Uh, the most important thing is the love and spread the peace in the world without hatred. Regarding Islam in America, I hope Islam in America has the same opportunities uh, as other religions. So the conclusion is, America is a consist of uh, 50 countries and a federal district. Uh, it is, uh, it has uh, many ethnicity of America, and there are so many interesting things. Start from destination place, times, holidays, uh, government systems, and until universities. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, I will uh, introduce myself. My name is Iqbal Roman Shah. I am from TBIA. Uh, my student number is 29. Okay, uh, I am from Islamic State University. Okay, today uh, 
I will explain about the United States of University. Okay, uh, according to me, uh, the United States of America is a country in the America, especially North America. The United States of America is a country uh, that is home to many international students uh, who come from all over the world. Apart from having famous cities and ambitable entertainment, this country has a large list of the best universities in the United States. So, uh, many international students uh, intend to study in the United States. Uh, in fact, uh, almost uh, 5% of the total students uh, enrolled in higher education institution in the country are international students. In fact, uh, there are more than 5,700 universities in America offering top notch uh, programs in a wide variety of fields. Uh, and then, uh, according to me, the United States is the number one and largest destination for international students seeking higher education abroad. Studying in the United States is an excellent opportunity to build a career path. As there are many large companies located in the country, uh, in my opinion, we will we will also meet many people from various culture who will make our life more interesting. Uh, and then, the United States of America is uh, this superpower has uh, an established and high quality higher education system. Uh, seven of the top ten universities in the world are uh, in the United States. In addition, uh, America uh, is one of the most culturally diverse countries in the world. I think uh, we will have the opportunity um, to learn a new language, uh, meet new friends, uh, and learn a new culture every day. Then, uh, beside that, uh, the United States uh, itself also has various uh, best tourist attractions uh, that can be visited, including uh, the first, uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, in Hawaii, uh, we can enjoy beautiful scenery and first air that can relieve fatigue after uh, undergoing activities every day. Uh, second, Phoenix, Arizona. The city is uh, surrounded by many amazing uh, museums, great restaurants, and, uh, and a city atmosphere uh, that provides various uh, sport facilities. Uh, third, Miami, Florida. Uh, this city is the perfect vacation location. We can see the various uniqueness of the community that is rarely found in other places. Mm. And for uh, South Sex City, Utah. Okay, this is uh, the right city when we want to do snow sport. 
uh, the atmosphere in this city is also very vibrant and rich in art and culture okay uh, well uh, maybe that is my opinion about uh, the United States of America uh, that's uh, that is all and thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Rinina Febrayu and I'm from TBAB Today I will give my opinion about USA as a Muslim student uh, I never been to USA before so I think I don't really know about USA lifestyle So the first time when I heard USA uh, in my mind I think USA is fast country. Uh, USA have more than 50 state and one federal district. Uh, this is based on the internet I have read before. In 16th century, Stefanico from Azamor is the first Muslim in North American history. So I think Muslim is not the something new to America. Uh, and USA famous as a country with the multicultural many people from all around the world come to an immigrant to USA as a Muslim who live in Indonesia and have background as Muslim uh, I live at majority Islam majority country uh, so I think USA is a free country uh, people feel free in USA to do what they want, regardless their norms and religions. Because of that, I think USA is not safe country enough for Muslim. Uh, as you know, and as I said before, USA is a free country, but the freedom is not for all Muslim in the US. As we know, reported in social media, television, YouTube, or other. Uh, in USA, there are still many races uh, for religion, skins, uh, physical forms, and other. Uh, uh, also, they are used free sex before married, they live together with their friend. Uh, this is something taboo, and this is not the right things in Islam. I'll talk uh, many Muslim community in USA like Islamic Foundation there are still many different treatment were received by Muslim especially Muslim as we know regularly uh, labeling as terrorists just because they're considered part of ISIS or something I think many American misunderstanding this is come from anti-Islamic parties. I know uh, not all American thinks Muslim is a terrorist. Uh, this is based on the perspective they are looking for. Uh, also, many students who studied in USA tell they feel free to wear hijab and there is still halal food. But uh, Islamic culture that looks different from Islamic culture in Indonesia, I think. For example, uh, the way they to dress uh, American Muslim is different with Indonesian Muslim. Usually, Indonesian Muslim, when prayer in mosque, they use robes, socks, and so on, and they and we are cover our body uh, with mukna. But uh, in the Western Islamic culture, they just use rope, sock, and so on. They don't cover their body with mukna. This is the big difference I see between uh, Indonesian Muslim and American Muslim. Uh, Manuel in Indonesia is feel stranger if we don't use mukna when we are prayer. And the big difference I see is not all environment in USA can accept Muslim. For example, in one district, we can find mosque in the building, but in the other district, it's difficult to find to find mosque and to find half of the restaurant. Not our environment, and 
not all environment have much good uh, easy access to halal food. But in education and environments, there is little respect and tolerant Muslim. It can see from uh, many Muslim students come to USA uh, and get scholarship. I think this is because USA advanced in technology and have world class university. It's a good thing for students, but I'm um, a student. Uh, I think we are must be more careful uh, because uh, their freedoms. Uh, I think we are not should be not to be influenced by their culture and habits because their culture is very not suitable with Islamic culture. Uh, I think that's all from me uh, that's all my opinion and uh, I'm really sorry for my bad speaking because I'm not really influenced and I'm not the native speaker uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh well Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh um, my name is Sonia Pertiwi I'm from TBIB uh, my register name is <coughs> Uh, acting fourteen zero five zero zero twelve, and today I want to give uh, opinions or argument about what I think of United States as an Indonesia Muslim student. Okay, firstly, I think the United States has the best per power in the world. It is expanding on many uh many from, especially um especially scientists and technology but uh, much research much research uh, have have been made by scientists uh, from this country and have contributed to many countries in the world for example uh, from uh, to Indonesia research uh, 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 as a student, as uh, also as and absolutely, uh, I have a dream to study in this country because this country have a many many college is the best in the world. Uh, other other than uh, research and uh, advanced and advanced technology, this country more um have the best. Uh, university or college is the best in the world. For example, uh, Hartford University, uh, California University, and uh, Florida University. Furthermore, uh, the United States have a, is the most of significant significant. Uh, exchange student objective in the world and it is include Indonesia student according research uh, Indonesia student uh, increased every year until 50 percent uh, is that a uh, proof America education is uh, of great interest to studying in the to student in the world, include uh, Indonesia student. Uh, but I have opinions about uh, Indonesia student uh, in the world as I a Muslim student. I think um, Indonesia student uh, go to unity stage and and graduate uh, from this country have a good job or uh, can enter uh, every companies in the world or in 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 country uh, in Indonesia country uh, for example uh, I'm I was uh, for example I was graduate uh, from this country I can uh, enter to every com every companies in Indonesia, but it should be note uh, 
that in many of student Indonesia was graduate uh, are deeply uh, are deeply uh, effective uh, with the culture in this country because the United States have a liberal social uh, it is be like free sex and LGBT and this is very different uh, to our country and nor in our country and absolutely and uh, nor of Islam and but and also I think this country uh, have a is poor Islamic image um, and then make the United uh, stage uh, unfriendly toward Muslim or uh, immigrant to life who want to live uh, in this country and and freedom and diversity uh, also limited in there so I have uh, the government of United State can accept uh, Muslim uh, immigrant or Muslim student very well in their country because many country of Indonesia and uh, many uh, many students of Indonesia absolutely want to studying and action change study with uh, this country so that's all for me uh, thank you very much for watching uh, wassalam Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm a fifth semester student of Islamic States University of Imam Bonjol Padang from English Tadris B My registration number is 18140500032 uh, And here I've got a question uh, from Mr. Syed Sandi Sukandi as my lecturer of cross-culture understanding and the question is what do I have in my mind as a Muslim student about USA? Okay, honestly, what do I have in my mind if you're talking about USA is difficult. I mean, uh, we all know that Muslims in USA are minority and being minority in a super power country and a super huge country is not easy. It's really hard. Just a couple percent of Americans are Muslims. Moreover, there's a stereotype that Muslims are terrorists. That's really terrible and this issue was getting bigger when uh, WTC tragedy and because of that tragedy, most of people in this world think that Muslims are terrorists. But nowadays, there's a lot of people, Muslims, even non-Muslims, has spoken up, has proven that Muslims aren't terrorists. That's pretty good. But still, the stereotype that Muslims are terrorists, I think there will always be. And another reason, oh, why do I think that America or USA is kind of difficult or hard because as a Muslim of course we have a lot of relations and we have to um, do, uh, eat and drink everything in contact of halal and to find I think I think to find uh, halal foods and drinks is just kind of tricky I think it's kind of tricky because uh, Muslims live in America around with by people uh, from another religions and Muslims just a minority so I think that's kind of difficult to find halal foods and drinks and next um, another th uh, uh, next thing that what do I have in my mind about USA is liberal of course even there's a liberty statue as a sign of freedom in America, in USA. And I think that's pretty cool because Americans can express themselves 
and that's pretty cool but still as a Muslim again um, we have a lot of regulation that I've been told in our Quran and Hadith and I think that kind of freedom of American just doesn't match with Muslims but it's fine because we are a human and we have our own way to to live our life and um, I personally choose uh, my way as a Muslim and people can choose their way through and I think and another thing that I th that I think that Americans behavior pretty cool is uh, they can do everything they want they can wear everything they want without afraid of being judgment of being judges I mean that's pretty cool because in my country Indonesia we can we everything we do everything we do whether it's good or bad we always get judgment I think most of Indonesian people most of Indonesians are judges even the neighbors is our first place judges that's that's kind of funny that's really funny uh, and I hope someday this kind of behavior can disappear because this is a word that mind your own business that's a really cruel cool words because what do you have to take care of people's business just let people enjoy their things as long as they not harm us as long as they not annoy us just let them enjoy their things why do we need to like judge people things yeah i hope someday this behavior can disappear i hope and okay I think that's it about what do I think, what do I have in my mind about USA as a Muslim student. And at the end, thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nur Hakiki Putri Lestari from English Department A. My register number is 10. And today I will make a video, I will record a video to fulfill my midterm assignment in subject cross-culture understanding in Islamic State University of Imam Bonjol Padang with Mr. Syed Sandi Sukandi. And the topic of this video is what do I think of the United States as an Islamic students in Indonesia. Um, I think that I used to hear to hear about USA since I was in elementary school, since I was child. So um, the name of United States or United States of America is is not a new thing or it's not a new word for me and I'm sure uh, a lot of my friends or a lot of uh, students in, in Indonesia will uh, think the same with me um, because um, United States is a powerful country uh, and give a lot of impact to another countries or to many countries in this world so i know and i'm sure that united states is a developed country with a sophisticated technology um, and there are a lot of uh, technology a good technology that uh, that they can uh, create or they can um, spread it to the world, which is we cannot find in in uh, in other countries, and that is very very good. And United States also has a a well known industry, film industry, uh, named Hollywood. Hollywood um, produce a lot of wonderful films uh, and box office 
that yeah uh, I also like that I, I think I guess I like that so much uh, there are a lot of uh, films that they can produce every year yeah every year and uh, yeah it, it 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 is very very amazing but um you know when i was in junior high school i have um what can i call that um maybe we can call it like stereotype about united states um i think that united states is a a country that uh didn't suitable or didn't uh friendly for muslim so i think united states is is not friendly for muslim because i have heard some issues about uh the united states and muslim which is it's not a good a good news for me as a as a muslim however I changed my mind when I was in junior, when I was in senior high school, I'm sorry, when I was in senior high school, um, because uh, at that time I have, uh, you know, a larger perspective about the world. Uh, I have an open-minded uh, sight to see that, um, no, I think not really <laughs> i think uh usa is a, a muslim friendly country because um i start to watch from youtube uh, from the television that there are um they deserve uh something like a muslim lives in 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 america or a muslim habits in america or something like how american see the muslims or something like that and overall overall uh, i can conclude uh, from that from that platform that uh, i have mentioned before like youtube or um uh, television or uh, social media they deserve that uh it's not really it's not really bad you know um because muslim can survive in america and an american uh didn't didn't attack them like like the issues or like the news that i have heard before so uh, from that time i start to change to change my mind about usa and you know one of the most important thing that can um help me to change my mind about USA is uh, because i learned this subject uh, we we usually call it CCU cross culture understanding um in this subject we learn about other countries their culture and and the uh, and the differences of between uh Indonesian culture and the other culture uh including USA so it it's really really helps me to change my mind and to have uh more more uh to have broader perspective about uh, USA and about um, Muslims' life in USA. Your guys, American, are very cool, very awesome. You have to feel blessed because you can live there. Yeah, I really, really like your country. I personally really admire your country united states and i hope someday i can come to united states for study or for maybe i can live there for a few years yeah i think that's all from me so i'm not hakiki putri lastari from english department a of uh, islamic state university of imam bonjol padang thank you so much
Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Dodi Saputra from English Department TBIA. My number is the last 18140050080. In this time, I will answer the question for Mr. Shahid Sandi Sukandi in the subject course Cultural Understanding. The question is, as a student coming from Islamic background, and you have never traveled to the USA, what do you have in mind about the USA? About this question, my answer has two points. The point one is the country. USA is a developed country. In the developed country of the USA has government system. The government system is reasonable, honest, and obeying with the prevailing rules. The next about the developed country of the USA has quality human resources and scientific progress in the knowledge. Okay, that point one about the developed country. The next point two about the people of the USA. Based off my experience, as much as I know about the people of the USA, the people of the USA is commitment in making daily activity. Why do I say like that? In my experience, I'm coming from Maninjau, Lake Maninjau, West Sumatra. In my village, a lot, a lot of tourists visited my village. I had been met and talked with them. So, my perception about this question, as much as I know, this is same with the before meeting in the differences culture. So, if we have differences culture, we have to understand each other. So, on the other hand, if we have difference, religion, so the religion is the guidance for us, not doctrine. Okay? About these differences, each other, we have to understanding. That means understanding is not understand, and understanding is not understanding. So, that all my answer about this question for Mr. Shahid Sandi Skwandi. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Isn't that interesting to listen to the diverse opinions and thoughts about the USA from these students? The students are Muslim students studying at Winnie Mambonjol Padang with me. I am Dosen Luar Biasa at the university. Dosen Luar Biasa means that I'm not a tenure track faculty, but I am trusted to teach the cross culture understanding course. What do you think about their thoughts and opinions? What can you conclude? Or do you have any ideas or suggestions? Please write down in the comment section. Kalau ada saran, ide, silahkan. Iya, jangan lupa subscribe. Okay?